Welcome back to Tyler Taught Me. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing video two in my series with the new Predator 224cc from Harbor Freight. Today I'm doing a stage one kit on it. Also adding a VM22. I've only messed with these a little bit, so I did go ahead and get a complete jet kit for it, make it easy on myself. Um, also had to get an intake adapter. All these are pretty relatively cheap parts. Um, some springs, we're gonna upgrade those. And we're gonna have to cut the governor arm out, plug that hole. We're gonna have to do the oil sensor, plug that hole. Uh, it's pretty much the same process as a 212, but I'm gonna show you guys because I haven't seen any videos of anyone showing you how to do it on a 224. Um, but it is pretty much the same process. Other than that, I am gonna keep the plastic cam gear in to kind of prove that it should be fine with a stage one. Uh, a lot of the Coleman's and stuff like that come with, or used to, Bajas, things like that used to come with uh, plastic cam gears. I've built a number of those motors to stage one, never had an issue with them, so we're gonna see what happens. If it blows up, it blows up, but I don't think it'll blow up. Let's get to it. Of course, this thing's still apart from the last video I did. So it should be relatively quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do our springs first. Let's see how easy we can do these. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take a rocker arms off first. 10 and a 14. simple and I'm holding the valve in with my finger on the other side. So here it should be this easy. Sometimes they're a little bit of pain because they're heavy. A little bit heavier pounded. But no, this is simple. Bada bing bada boom. When you take the head off it makes things ten times easier. And when you don't take the head off. Boom. All right, that was the easy stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the tank off.
All right, oil sensor's gone. Now we gotta get the governor out. I'm gonna cut the end of that governor arm off with the Dremel, and then take the little uh, C retention clip off of this, yank it out. All right, so I'm gonna cut this bolt down probably a quarter inch, uh, like I usually do. Slide it through this from the other direction, uh, and then throw two nuts on the end, and it should be good. All right, so I cut about that much off. So you deal with. I'm gonna throw regular nut and a nylon locking nut with some red Loctite because I don't want this thing coming off ever. Now we just gotta tap our oil sensor hole here, throw a bolt in it. That's all the shavings that came out of that. Right, red Loctite on this. I want to get a lot. I had to cut this down as well. All right. This guy's plugged. Top guy's plugged. Just got to pull that like we were talking about. Now, this is always the pain in the ass part. I've done enough times, I think I've got it down pretty quick now though. There's a little C-clip you gotta get to uh, pop up off this little groove it's in. Sometimes you gotta smack it with a hammer. All right, don't forget this little pain in the ass washer that's behind the governor. If you leave that in there, it'll come off that shaft and end up getting chewed up in your gears. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Governor's gone, oil sensor's gone. Both holes are plugged. Now we just throw it back together. We're gonna put the can back in. We're going to set our valves going to put our rods back in. We're gonna put our new adapter on, like we said. Carb, we should be able to start it.
Now we're gonna take these guys out. All right, I'm just vice gripping them out. They're being stubborn. But coming right out with the vice grip, so that's what we're doing. This came with all the bolts we need. Put this guy on. So this goes like this. That's simple. All right, I'm gonna go with I don't need a gasket between the intake and this because of the rubber gasket already here. So, I'm hoping that'll make it where there's no leak, but we're gonna have to just find out. try it like this if I need to put a gasket in there uh, like paper gasket I will uh, put one in there but I don't think I'm gonna need one now I just got the side cover back on and uh, an exhaust and we should be good to start it I just came to the realization that a 212 exhaust will not fit. I think we can waller out these a little bit and it will fit, but as of throwing it on, that ain't gonna work. All right, well, for sake of starting it, we threw the original exhaust on. Everything else is good. I'm just gonna hook up a little fuel line so we can test it right there. All right, moment of truth. Feels good. Let's see if we can get it to kick. jetting issues but otherwise boom stage one predator 224 i did uh i just adjusted the idle a little bit and we were good i wasn't sure if the jets were going to be a problem or not i have all those other jets if need be i don't know if the jetting might change when i do finally get a uh, exhaust that'll work for this but otherwise everything seems solid revs right up does everything it should uh so now we've got no governor we've got a vm22 um we're good to go so Stay tuned for more stuff with this. I'm going to put it on something cool. I'd love for some uh, ideas in the comments. Go-kart, dirt bike, mini bike, 
What do you guys think? Uh, and thanks for watching.